In this video, we'll be looking at how to blank out certain values from a column in a Salesforce object. So for example, let's say we have the wrong emails loaded in Salesforce. How do we blank out those emails through data import wizard? So I'll take you through the entire process of loading a few sample dummy records and then making one of the columns from that data import blank. I have prepared a few dummy records. We'll be importing this into the contacts object. Uh, I have saved this file as dummy contacts.csv. Let's go to setup, select the data import wizard, launch the wizard. We'll import into the standard object accounts and contact. We we are adding new records and we choose the CSV file that we have previously loaded, dummycontacts.csv. Next, so uh, the CSV headers are pretty well uh, designed, so they are automatically mapped to the account name, the first name in the contact, last name of contact, and email. And we'll see how to blank out these wrong email addresses in the next step. So as of now, we are just loading these dummy records into Salesforce. Next, start the import. The status is completed. Let's go and check the all contacts, refresh. And there you go. So we have the dummy one, two, three records loaded. The account that we loaded these contacts in is Bezelink. And we loaded the wrong e email.com. In order to remove the values in bulk from a particular column, let's see the steps we would need to take. So as the first step, we would download the records from Salesforce using a report. So let's create a new report. We want contacts and accounts, so continue, filters. So we can use the filters to restrict the number of records that uh, will get downloaded in this report, either using the date after which they were created or if we identify, okay, we want to work on the contacts of a particular account, we can use those filters to download the uh, restricted number of records. In this case, uh, I'll just use uh, my contacts on or after 23rd of March, which will give me just these three records which I recently uploaded. So we'll just run this report and we'll export it as details only, save it as a CSV file. Before doing that, what we want is the contact ID. So let's cancel this, go back to edit the report and the column that we want is full ID of the contact. And let's get rid of some of the columns that we don't want. So we have the limited number of columns that we actually need here. And uh, the reason I'm using full ID instead of contact ID or account ID, you will recall in my previous video, I had shown that if we select contact ID in our reports, it selects only the 15 character ID and not the actual 18 character ID especially if we are using reports to download the data, we need to create a column called full ID. You can watch the steps of how to create full ID in my previous video. So in this case, we don't need contact ID, we just need the full 18 character ID, Salesforce ID. Run this report and export it. Save it as a CSV. So there we have the downloaded data from Salesforce. And what we want to do is we want to remove the email ID from these contacts. So when we are going to upload this report using the data input wizard, we only need two columns. We just need the Salesforce ID. Let's rename the column as contact ID. And we need the email. Now, if we upload this, file with a blank email column, Salesforce will not blank out the email in the contact object. When you upload a CSV file with a blank column, Salesforce will simply ignore that column. In order to blank out the values in that column, you have to upload the file with hash NA in that column and copy that across and let's save it. After saving the CSV file, we go back to the data import wizard launch the wizard, accounts and contacts. This time what we want to do is update existing records. You match the contact by the salesforce.com ID and let's select the CSV file report which we have just modified with the hash NA in the email column. Next, we have to map it to the contact salesforce.com ID. Mapping the record with this ID, Salesforce will look at hash NA and it will blank out the value in the email column for that record. Start the import and the status is completed. Three records processed, no errors. So let's go back to the 
data, you can, let's go back to contact. As you can see, the email is now blank in the three records that we have created. So that's how you upload blank values in a Salesforce column using data import wizard.